Hello everybody, it's me and one from Mario Muff Adventure Channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the toy bunny plush. So this is what he looks like. It's a nice cute little bunny. In this pattern we will mostly be focusing on his facial, you know, cheeks and eye patches, I guess you call them. Because his body is exactly the same as our previous bunny that we did, the, the normal bunny. So let's go ahead and get into the pattern. Okay, so first thing you'll need is um, the pattern, and you can find this in the description. It will lead you to our DeviantArt page, and you can just print off this two-page pattern there. So you need your pattern. You'll need two pieces of lighter blue felt. Um, you could just pick the color of what you want. You got a sheet of white, some black, pink, green, purple, and red. You will need uh, a Sharpie pen. This is a fine tip sharpie. You'll need some cardstock. This is the thick paper which you'll need. You need some cardboard. You need this is uh you need a brad. These are very small brads. We use them as the pupils for the eyes. You need your uh, fabric and paper scissors. Now this is kind of a strange item. And eh, we've never actually used it before in a, one of our patterns before. But this is the strands of a broom. It's like broom hair, I guess you'd say. It's just the plastic um, black stuff that's on brooms. So um, you kind of have to sabotage someone's broom. But uh, before you do that, make sure they don't mind. But just get some broom hairs and cut the nasty ends off. And you'll need uh, quite a few of those three or four broom hairs that are out long okay the last bit of stuff you'll need is you'll need some pins and a sewing needle you'll need six pipe cleaners these are white they don't have to be white you'll need some blue and some red red and a glue gun okay so I've got everything cut out now I cut out paper and I cut out all the fabric so with this piece I'm not gonna cut these out yet I'm gonna wait till the end to uh, actually when, once I need these pieces, I'm going to cut them out later. But you do not have to use this as your pattern. You can really go and do whatever you want. But it's just a suggestion. Okay, so like I said with this bunny, he is exactly the same as our purple bunny. So um, just go and check out the bunny tutorial on our channel. And you can see how to make his body. So I'm going to go ahead and sew up the body all the way. And I will save the ears because we're going to do something special with the ears. But um, go ahead and sew up your body. Okay, so we got our body. I sewed it up all the way. I put it on his feet and I sewed around his legs. So he's looking good. So go ahead and take your two ear pieces. I sewed them up already. As you can see, look inside them out. So I've got these inside it out now. So go ahead and take out your pipe cleaners. I've got three of them here. Let's take two of them and then just loop them over like this so that they make a nice little loop. Oops. So now they're both, ah, come here pipe cleaner. Okay, so they're both kind of looped now. So you want them to be lined up in their loop. Don't pinch them in the middle though so that they can uh, stay. We're going to be putting pipe cleaners in Bonnie's ears so that they can bend slightly. We didn't, uh, so it's like kind of like that. So you can have a bendable ear. So loop them like this. And now take a third pipe cleaner. Start at the bottom. And try to make your pipe cleaners line up. And you just want to kind of loop the third pipe cleaner around there so that the two will stay together like this so this is kind of what you get it's not the most beautiful thing in the whole world but like as you see I wrapped the third pipe cleaner around these two pipe cleaners so that it would just kind of give a little bit more strength so let's hold it in this position we'll call it the light bulb position because it kind of looks like a light bulb I guess and let's go ahead and stuff it up in our ear Okay, so once you got that, 
you get it out and it looks about like this so this stuff we're gonna um we're gonna work with that later once we start sticking it on bonnie's head so go ahead and do the exact same thing to your other ear okay so it might be easier if you um wrap the third pot cleaner around the other two before you actually fold it in half okay so let's take a little bit of stuffing now this is even too much we're just gonna like go in there and put a little bit of padding around this ear so that it won't just be a piece of fabric so just put a little bit of stuffing in there and it'll help pad the ear so it won't be such a flat 2d object i guess you'd say so just tiny bit there and that should do it we're gonna attach the ears onto his head now so with these kind of just um loop take the two pot cleaners and loop them around each other in the middle twist them then just kind of fold them up back in there like that so now you've got this nice squishy ear and you got your pipe cleaners all folded up in there so let's take our thread and just like in the previous bonnie pattern let's fold this in so that we get rid of that actual outer edge of the bunny ear and we're left with the folded in edge right here so we're left with something like that and of course this fold is kind of crooked but that's okay we can adjust it as we go along so take your body and then stick your ear on and then do the blanket stitch around the ears to hold on your ear and you should have a nice bendable bunny ear after you're done and if you need any help with this um just go to our previous bunny pattern and it will help you out okay so this is the look you get once you get your ears sewed on and that's a pretty good look but uh, that's how it looks and your ears should bend a little bit hopefully <laughs> there we go they'll bend some and you could just kind of adjust your ears later. Let's go ahead and get out our muzzle. As you can see, it's white. And to do the muzzle, we just take our scissors and we cut it in half at about the middle point. And I'm going to just go ahead and do the muzzle. If you need help doing it, just go refer to our Bonnie pattern. And, or maybe it'll refer you to some other pattern but to do the muzzle you just it's just so along one of these sides and stop here and then you're gonna keep one of them open and then uh, this one could sew along one of the sides that I don't think it really matters except don't sew along the straight edge and then you just keep the rest of them open and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done Okay, so these are the two muzzles I sewed along the edges. Just make sure you don't sew along this edge. It's the shortest edge of the triangle thing. And don't sew along this edge either. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom of the mouth on. And I'm going to put the cardboard in. And then I will be back. Okay, so I've got the muzzles done. And as you can see, one side of my cardboard is green. And the other side, it was white. So it would be best to use something that had a light cardboard because white fabric you could see through it very easily. Like this green, so you can see it through there, but th there will have that. Yeah, sorry, there will be stuffing on the top. So just um, if you have the lighter side, make sure to put it on your white. So um, go ahead and put on your muzzle, and uh, I will be back. Okay, so this is the Bonnie and his muzzle, and that's what it looks like. It's a nice little Bonnie. Okay, so as you can see with this Bonnie, we did not put black in his mouth. But I think it would be good to put black in this one's mouth, because I kind of like the way it looks. So, uh, warm up your glue gun and um, get out a piece of black felt. 
So he was gonna shove it all the way down in his mouth like this, all the way down. And you're gonna glue it there and then you're gonna trim around it. Okay, so you get that. And it's okay if it's a little crooked because we're gonna put teeth and lips on him later. Okay, so I've got the bow tie. I've already sewn up the back. I just pinched it and then sewn it. So there's this nice little bow tie look. Um, we are going to put a dot in the middle to give him a little different look. So just uh, cut out a red dot of felt and then we're going to glue it right there in the middle. Okay, so now we've got that and it's a nice bow tie. If you're sewing it, um, now just stab into his neck where we want the bow tie center to be. Make sure you're red attached to the center. And if you want to glue it, then just go ahead and glue it there. But if you're sewing it, stab right there into the middle of his neck and go all the way back. And then just adjust your bow tie and sew it there. Okay, so we get that nice look. Now, um, let's go ahead and put in our teeth. So, um, if you need any help with doing the teeth, just check out our body pattern and, and the previous body pattern or one of the other patterns and they, they pretty much all do teeth. So I'm just going to straighten this edge out. I'm taking my cardstock. I'm just going to cut some strips out of it. And Bonnie has, oops, uh, he has two teeth on the top and then one, two, three, six on the bottom. Two is a little bit, but uh, that's how many teeth he has. So I'm going to do two teeth <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay, so we've got our teeth all put on, and as you can see, they're quite long right now. We're going to trim them up a little bit. So go ahead and take a white strip, just cut out a small skinny white strip, and lay it down for your lips of your bunny, and you can glue that on like that. So I'm going to go ahead and trim up these teeth and glue on the lips, and I'll be back. Okay, so that's the kind of look you get. It's got a little nasty smile about woo. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out our belly spot. And you guys know the routine on this. Uh, you just uh, glue it on his belly. Cause, or you can sew it, I guess. But gluing works nicely. So we'll glue that there like that. And then with these ear parts, as you can see, we actually split them up. Because uh, last time it was just a solid one, but now we split them up. So they just go on like this. So straight type of thing. And there's like a little bit of a gap. And then um, when you bend it and stuff, it'll, it'll look good. So that's your ear. Okay, so this is what you get with the ears whenever you put them on. They'll look like that. Next, let's get out these eye pieces. Um, I think they're called inner eyes or something. So, just go ahead and you place them on the bunny. Oops, something fell. Like this. And then, so you get that crooked look. And of course, you have to straighten them out. So, um, you put these on just like this. So, just go ahead and glue these on right here and adjust them all you want. So that you can have a nice creepy bonnie. And I will be back. You can also get out this piece of paper. So if you want to use these patterns like this. You can cut them out and use them. And um, you will be needing the eyebrows and the eyelids and the nose very soon. Okay so now you need to get out your white, your green and your black felt. And you need to cut out three circles. The white circle, well, actually, the black circle needs to be the biggest. Then the white, and then the green, so that you get this type of look with the eyes. Well, I didn't realize how crooked I put those on, but um, they are not glued on yet, so don't glue them on yet. You also need to get out with your brads, and you need to get ready to put these down into your eye to like give them a pupil and go through all three layers. You might have to go through one at a time because of how thick it is, but um, just go ahead and put those brads in your eyes. Okay, so now we've, oops, we've got this eye, and as you can see, I folded the brad over in the back. There it is. 
So I poked through one layer at a time and I tried to center it. It's hard to center it perfectly, but I tried. So uh, here we go. Next, you need to get out your eyelids. So this is the eyelid. It's very, very small stuff that we're working with. You also need to get out your plastic broom hair stuff. This, um, just go cut this off of a broom. Okay, so now you've got your eyelid. And we're going to be gluing these to the eyelid. Hey everybody, uh, M1 brought me in here for the eyebrow things. If you can see these. Right there. So these are the broomstick things. What I'm doing is I'm just holding them all together at the bottom like that as you can see they all come to a point at the bottom and so I'm just gonna grab those again with my finger and what we do is we take our eyelid piece and the eyelid piece is going to overlay this it's gonna go on top of it about right there as you can see and so to help yourself out so you won't get burnt as bad doing this <laughs> because if you, if you do it the wrong way it's hard to do what you're gonna do and you're just going to put glue on the back of this thing and then stick it down on top of this. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm going to glue it now. You just put your glob of glue behind your eyebrow lid, whatever that is, like that. And now you're going to take it and place it right here. Now you move it up some. You're going to place it in there around like that and you want to push them up some to try to cover up the glue on in there and now you're just going to press on either side of them now this might burn you a little bit but yeah whatever I mean it works so there you go it's like that you have your first eyebrow and you got a little overlap of glue if you want you can probably take your scissors or your fingernail and scrape that off so there we have that first part. Now we'll probably go along the back and strengthen it up with a little more glue to make sure we got it pinned down right. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, you basically just do this for both sides and then trim the tops and the bottoms to fit. And you're good to go. End up with your eyebrow. That. Okay, so this is what you get. It's a nice uh, eyelash thing. And thanks to M2 for helping me. You're welcome. Thanks. Oh, okay, so. If you ever want me to come back and do a celebrity uh, song or something. Yeah, thank you, M2. Okay, so the biggest thing with this is do be careful because this is easily burn you. That's why I got M2 to do it so he could burn himself and not me. So, um, you, you might could find some gloves or something to wear while you're doing it. As you can see, we trimmed the bottom part off so those eyelashes are gone. And now we have these extremely long bonnie eyelashes. And whenever you trim it, make sure to hold on to the eyelid like this. And then trim so that um, your eyelashes won't fall out immediately. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these on bonnie. Okay, so we've got his eyes here. And... We just need to put them in their positions. So let's go ahead and put them in where they're supposed to go and glue them on. And as you're doing, like deciding what position to go and put them into, uh, I kind of look at your eyelash and see where it needs to fit and everything. And as you could tell, we're doing Bonnie with his nice eyes. If you want to do him with um, his evil eyes, just um just to make a golden freddy eye instead and that will give you a evil eye uh, so go ahead and glue the eyes on and then put your eyelids on then the eyelids are really wherever you want to put them like with our previous Bonnie this is what they look like okay so as you can see I got his eyes glued on and he also has like all this gluey hair stuff you have to rip all that out and um, as you're doing it, you can trim the eyelashes so that they'll um, fit in, you know, they'll fit as you're trying to put them on. Uh, with our last Bonnie, uh, we trim the eyelashes significantly. So I will be trimming these a whole lot because they're very long right now. It's got very long eyelashes. 
Okay, so the only part left, um, this is one of the parts left, we need to put on his cheeks. So to put on his cheeks, you just take your cheek and it kind of hooks up like right here next to his mouth. That type of thing, maybe a little higher. It's really just a uh, personal preference and if you would just rather a round cheek, and you can do a round cheek too, but um, that's his cheeks and that's what they look like. So I'm going to glue those on and then we'll be going on to the nose and the eyebrows. Okay, so next we need to cut out our nose and our eyebrows. And that is on this, oops, sorry, uh, this page right here. You can use this pattern and you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's right there. So just cut out a circle and two eyebrows and then glue them on. Okay, so we've got that all glued on now. We're going to be using our Sharpie pen. This is a Sharpie extra fine point five minute marker. And it, um, we're going to be drawing on him these face dots. So he's got three dots on each side and he's also got a line down the middle. So this is also artistic stuff so um just go ahead and draw your dot and your line and then he will be done this is the last step okay so this is the final comparison of our two toy bonnies so we made a few changes but i think that they were good changes and so this is what he looks like nice little bonnie boy okay so um now you have a bendable ears and your body, I kind of got to point that out, but your ears can bend now. And his ears bend a little bit. They weren't quite so bendy, but now he's got some nice bendable ears on your new Bonnie. So go ahead and um, make yourself a Bonnie. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And goodbye.